Hi everybody, this is Arkady Freckman, a New York City personal injury trial attorney. And today I wanted to answer one of your questions. We do our segment last week tonight where we go through all the comments, but sometimes they get kind of long. I think one of them recently in November was 45 minutes. I think that's too long for some people. So I wanted to answer some questions that I feel like strongly about and that kind of trigger um, an interest. I wanted to answer that question right away. So today we have a question from Collectibles of Texas, and I thought it's a really good question. Uh, and they ask, if a counter offer 400,000 is submitted to the insurance company, the 18 wheeler was 100% at fault and has accepted responsibility, was will the insurance settle for? What will the insurance settle for? The insurance's first offer was 60,000. Okay, so if the insurance company adjuster calls them, uh, calls this injured person who was involved in a serious semi-truck, tractor trailer, 18 wheeler crash, that's a serious wreck. You know, people get serious injuries from that. Now they don't mention their injuries, so I don't know what the injuries are, but the insurance adjuster offered 60,000. So it must be some kind of serious injury, either maybe a pain management a injection or a surgery or something serious. And then their lawyer countered, and it's not really an offer, it's more like a demand or a request, right? Because the offer is made by the insurance company. They're offering you money to settle your case, the 60,000. What you're doing is you're counter negotiating or counter demanding an amount. You're asking them for more. And your lawyer asked for 400,000. So I think that, you know, with that balance, the insurance adjuster will go up because now they know that your lawyer said 400. So I think in my experience, you know, not knowing what your injury is, not knowing what city this happened, not knowing any of this, just from the, those two numbers, right? If I had to give you a wild guess, I think the insurance company is going to come back at about double the 60, like 120,000, 130,000. And that there's two reasons for that. Number one, because they already offered you 60. So they probably have more. They probably can get to 100. Perhaps if your lawyer is a good negotiator, he could get them up a little more than 100. The second issue is the fact that your lawyer demanded 400, right? Once they demand 400, it's very hard to get anything above 400, right? So they've kind of like foreclosed 500, 600, 700, a million, 2 million. Forget about that, right? Once they've demanded 400, it's either zero to 400, right? Everything above 400 is just out the window. It's gone. The train has left the station. That's why I don't like to make those demands, right? That's why I like to do settlement opportunities. And if you look at some of my videos, I talk about like the running with the bulls style settlement opportunity letters where I put what I feel is fair and then I let the insurance company pay me what I want. And if they don't, then my my um, demand or my you know settlement opportunity goes up. So I'm actually doing the same thing the insurance company is doing, but I'm doing it in reverse, right? I'm, I'm dictating the shots. This way, this is the typical way most lawyers do it. This is the old school typical way. But the problem with this is like your lawyer now is foreclosed anything over 400,000, right? And once they know that in the world of worlds, the most they could ever have to pay is 400,000, you know, maybe they have a $10 million policy. We don't know, right? They could have a million on the tractor trailer with a 5 million excess with layers and layers of millions. They could say, forget about all that. Now it's great. You know, we're going to get rid of this case. But look, the most we could ever have to pay is 400. That's what they're asking for. Why give them what they're asking for? Let's give them like maybe a third of that. And what's a third of 400? Well, it's about 130,000. That's another reason why I think they're going to come in at about double the 60. And, the, you know, the fact that they gave you 60 shows that it's a serious case, that they're taking it uh, seriously. And you could definitely get them, I think, to 100, perhaps to more than 100. But, you know, in my opinion, I don't know what, again, I don't know what the injuries are, but my opinion, if this is a serious case, for example, if you have like a, a, a discectomy or any kind of spinal surgery, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play this game. I wouldn't do it this way. I would just say, look, pay me a million. And if you don't pay me a million within 30 days, it goes up to 3 million. Dictate the shots, call the shots, you know, be your own uh, leader, be your own boss and have your lawyer be fearless. And if, if you have a real trial lawyer, what's there to be afraid of? Uh, it, it sounds like, you know, potentially it could be a lot more valuable and why leave money on the table? This is money that you need to compensate you for your serious injury. This is your life, right? You only have one case. You only have one shot at justice. So that's my opinion. But again, that's basically what I think will happen. But I think that's a really good question. And so I'm happy to answer it and let us know what other questions you have, what other comments you have. We are here for you. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great weekend. And we will talk to you very soon.